Oh yeah. Oh man. That's great. This is this is exceeding my expectations. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm excited to hopefully, for real this time, test a tankless water heater that I got from Amazon. This one also was $75. Uh, I posted a video a little while back. I bought another one of these for about the same price. Um, the problem with that one was it's uh, 4,500 kilowatts. This one's only 1,500. So this is a 1,500 kilowatts. Should be able to run it off of any standard plug. The other one that's 4,500 kilowatts, uh, my 3,500 Harbor Freight generator wouldn't run it. Uh, you'd need a lot of power typical power you don't have under the kitchen so you probably have to run wiring to the dang thing so this one uh, should be fine and uh, I've uh, all I've done is take it out of the box which uh, scared me because the previous person who purchased it their name is still on the box there's actually two addresses on the box like this has been returned so is what I'm trying to say uh, so I guess we'll find out why it's been returned or maybe they just didn't want it uh, maybe it was too big. The other one was actually way smaller than this, but uh, you know, again, I don't know if I trust it. Uh, opening it up, looking at the internals, that thing's gonna get super hot. Um, this one, you know, I guess we're gonna find out here in a second. Um, you know, hopefully before my my uh, setup here, <laughs> it leaks too much, but not a big deal. It's just for a simple test. So I haven't plugged this in yet. Um, you can install this upside uh, this way. So I guess you'd say this is upside down um, because the min and max letters are, are different. But the uh, if I'm going to install it in a boat, what it does come with is this little valve right here. And this valve, it's screwed. There's a screw locking it, so I haven't taken the screw out yet. And it's got a hose. This goes on the cold side because there's you know the arrow going up, so it's only one way. It's also a check valve inside, apparently. Um, but if you open it up, this would be great for a boat or something, <clears throat> maybe an RV, um, to, uh, to drain it in the wintertime. Um, I would probably prefer the other way if it was just going to go under a sink because you can buy some simple fittings like this. Obviously, the a correct, you know, it's leaking because the hose clamp is spraying down, but, you know, you could actually use correct fittings and make this thing work um, the right way. But that wouldn't be too hard under a sink with a standard 110 15 amp um, plug so here I believe this is only 13 amps uh, yeah 13 amps 125 volts so this is my Home Depot cobalt uh, standard plug I use for everything so it's plugged in I think the outlet is not tripped so I'm gonna go ahead I did the only thing I did I hooked it up, I turned on the water, and I ran a little bit of water through this because it says you're supposed to run water through it before you start it. So, I don't know if the light is on. Go to max, max route. Turn it on. Let me check my outlet. I think this thing is tripped. Well, I've got it running. For some reason, this light is not, I can't tell, I, I can't see that it's on. So I've got to set on max um, my electrical spool reel is working. Um, you can't hear it. This is like a, hum, hum, I'll put the link in the description, but it's a generic brand. Um, very generic uh, from China but um, it's working guys um, and again here's my setup I, it, this is sim super simple you have these hose clamps so it just tees and goes to the to the cold line and then I've got a hot line that goes here as well so I just use a couple of these a couple hose clamps I had this tube laying around the garage I think um, that it fit perfectly on these well they're a little big but that's why it leaks a little bit it's a little oversized this is just clamped right onto a uh, piece of PEX. That's why it's leaking. There's no barbs on that. These have barb fittings. This is a pack of these at, uh, at uh, Lowe's, I think. And then I just bought, this is just the end of a hose. I actually have a fitting because this is the wrong end, but either way, it slides right on here. So there's like a, it's like 10 bucks or less for a, you've got a coil around it. It's for 
special things you put on your thing. But uh, I've got it on hot and I'm running the water and it's warm. Um, is it hot? No. Is it, is it suitable for a shower? Eh, I don't know. But cold, that's definitely colder. Let me turn down the turn it turn down the flow some. Well, it's working. The um, the temperature of the water, as you can see here, hopefully. I'm getting close enough is nearly a hundred degrees coming out of the faucet so uh, the cold water and obviously I let the cold water out of the hose so that the Sun isn't affecting our reading I think the Sun is warming it up enough that it's in the 70s meat thermometer doesn't do good below 80 degrees but it's uh, you know this is this is not comfortable for a shower On hot, it is, uh, I could shower in this. I would, actually, uh, that's, that's actually really nice right there. Yeah, I could shower in that and not be uncomfortable. Oh, it's getting hotter. Oh, let me check this. That's getting hot. Oh, yeah. Maybe this thing just needed a little workout. Ooh. Let me make sure it's not the hose. On cold, it, it gets cold quick. Yep, so it's not the water in the hose. Yeah, we're at 110, almost 120 degrees right now. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's great. This is this is exceeding my expectations. We gotta remake the short now. Yes. 120 degrees. It's kind of chilled a little bit, but uh, still, well, no, it's not chilled. That you can shower in that. You could shower in that. That's impressive. Well, all right, guys. I think this is a short video. Um, this is a Hassanen Hassanen um, cordless 115 or. Yeah, 110, 115 volt, 1500 watt, uh, plugged into a 1300 or 13 amp uh, breaker right now. Running on max, kicking out almost 120 degree uh, water. So that's a success, man. Um, I'm I'm pleased with this thing. This thing is going in the boat. I got to find a way to get it uh, somewhere where we can actually use the controls. Um, so it's just not on all the time, but uh, I think I have a spot, maybe, I don't know. But uh, this is this is good news. Um, and again, $75, I think I said the name is ha ha very generic on Amazon. Uh, the one thing, though, I let this thing run for like, um, it was running for a couple minutes before it actually got, broke the 100 degree bit threshold. So. Um, you might have to run this for a few minutes and again somebody else bought this and I don't know what the heck they did with it but they, they didn't take the the screws and stuff out of the package and actually put it up but um, they returned it maybe it was too big for them I don't know but uh, it works um, this is good this would be great this will be great for uh, any RV if you're if you just want hot water at a, at a certain point if you're building your own uh, off-road adventure rig um, or even a boat if your if your boat needs hot water, because um, that's what uh, that's what I have this one for. So uh, we'll be back on the boat for a few weeks because I'm going on a much 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 bigger boat. Um, but man, this thing is uh, this is it, man. This is the one I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna use. So hopefully this helps you out if you're looking for one of these. And this is this is. Uh, with as small as compact it is, you can take you can you can take this camping. You could probably put a um, 
like a, just like I have here, the, the hose set up. And then you could, you could easily run some of these fittings off the side and then literally run a hose. Um, you'd obviously want a mixer, but I'm, I think there's a, a you, could, you could make something extremely simple and for fairly cheap and, and, uh, and have an, an off-grid outdoor shower set up. Um, you know, you can even do something like this, and this is an old faucet from our original travel trailer. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I found. It's working great. So, like and subscribe. Oh, we'll catch you on the next one before my, uh, before my setup fails.